So when you get on a pre-spawn bite like this, the concentrations of fish that you can end up landing on is really phenomenal. You know, we're catching fish just every other cast, every cast right now, but once they start to spawn, there's only so many spots up there on the shoreline for them to be. So, you know, you can pick them off as you go, but when they're out here on the pre-spawn, man, they can get in big groups and really are easy to catch. There's one right there. Oh, that was close to the boat too. Yeah, that one's a little closer to the boat than the other ones have been, but. Oh, I got one, you still got one, so we can call this a double. This one feels a little better, Matthew. Man, they're just loaded. So many people get jacked up about fishing crappies when they're up on their nests, which of course is a good time getting to sight fish and see fish like this hit a bait. And you can see as dark as this one is, he's getting ready to spawn but it's not quite spawn time yet. And pre-spawn for any fish can just be dynamite. So these fish right now, I'm guessing this has got some bog, the shoreline, and there's some bulrush, some wood in the water. So they'll come up around here and they'll, they'll end up making beds and spawning. But right now it's a sharp drop to the basin. It's got good cabbage, vertical cabbage. I mean, good standing cover in six to eight feet of water. If you find that stuff in the spring, it's a magnet for crappies. It's a magnet for pan or sunnies. It's also great for pike, bass, and walleye. So look for that kind of stuff. Nice hard bottom on the shoreline, little roll, six, eight feet. It's got good cover and that's where we're catching the panfish. Not up in the shallow on that first slip and that standing cover.